right, so we're going to do one at a time. It's a very unique school day for Salve Regina Catholic Academy student Brandon Elder. You have to put the name of the three Chinese philosophies. He's learning, completing assignments. Ready, set, go. And even taking part in a gym class, all from home. We'll be assigned work, and then we either have to take a picture of it and then send it to her, or we have to do it on a Google Drive, and then, and then that's when we send it to them. Brandon is one of 18,000 students across Diocese of Brooklyn schools learning virtually during the COVID-19 crisis, using Google Classroom to receive assignments and upload them to teachers when they're completed. The Diocese Elementary, Catholic Academies and Parish schools are closed until at least April 20th for safety. We think it's important to continue learning and we don't want just busy work. We want kids to be going right through the curriculum. St. Xavier Catholic Academy is one of the schools relying on distance learning. They've been preparing for weeks. He got, he got them all right? Over the past two days, teachers Caitlin and Sophia have been uploading work, giving mini lessons through video chat, and making sure they're around to answer questions. That's something that we're doing, and we're trying to keep ourselves available so that our kids know that we're there for them. This system is necessary, but it isn't always easy. The teachers explain there have been some growing pains. Relaying all information to both kids and parents, um, so there's, there's just a lot of, like, constant communication needs to be happening. There's a lot of questions um, trying to figure out like how do they go on to Zoom, how do they do this. This was especially true for the younger kids who were not already using the platform before the outbreak. But still, tough times call for extraordinary measures. It's something that we have to learn how to do. It's, it's inevitable. In Park Slope, Brooklyn, Emily Druby, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.